Hey, how are we doing good? It's Chris Evans, Extreme Finger Picking, and in this lesson, we're learning how to play Heartbeats by Jose Gonzalez. Okay, so for this one, we've got a capo on the first fret and you're gonna to have to alter the tuning a little bit. The E string has gone down to a D and also the G string has gone down to F sharp. Other than that, all the strings remain the same. So get those two things sorted and you're good to go. Okay, so once you get capo on and you're in the right tuning, what you wanna do is you wanna put your first finger on the third fret of the G and then your second finger on the fourth fret of the A string and kind of keep those on because for the first couple of bars they're going to pretty much remain on there the whole time uh, as you'll see so that's the first bar so with those two fingers held on you want to play the low E string wide open and then the D string open and then you're going to play that fourth fret on the A string so you're gone then as soon as you've done that hammer your third finger onto the 5th fret of the A string. Okay, and then play it again, the 5th fret, so you go. Okay, and then you're going to play the open D string, then your 3rd finger again on the 5th fret of the A string, play that. Okay, so you've gone. Open D, and then back to the A string. And then you're going to play the G string now, and that should be the third fret. Okay, so. Oh, sorry. Okay, and then do you do that hammer on again? So you lift off your third finger back to the fourth fret on the A string, play that, and then do the hammer on up to the fifth, play the open D string, then the a string fifth fret again. So just that. Okay. So so far. And then you play the G string third fret again. And then open A and then open D. So let's go through that again. that as many times as you need to it's a little bit fiddly it'll probably take a little while and it's probably a case of you repeating it over and over again but after a while it really starts to sinking and it gets very very comfortable okay but that's the first bar um, then we move on to the second bar and it's very 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 similar and it's really it's just the ending that's changed so it starts off exactly the same So that half of the bar is exactly the same as the first half. And then, well basically the first three quarters of bar two are exactly the same as the first, first bar. So the three E and A you get. Okay, and then you play the fifth on the A string. This is just the last four notes. Then you can play the open B string. And then that's really the only note that has changed. And then you play the open A and then the open D. So instead of at the end getting, you get. So here's the first bar. And then the second bar. So instead of playing the third fret on the G string, at the end, you're going to play the open B string. That's the only thing that's changed. So those two bars from the beginning. G string. And then. B string. Okay. And then we get. So 
So this next one, what you want to do, the next bar, you want to put your first finger on the second fret of the A string. And yeah, so you, you play that, and then again, and then you'll play the open G, then back to the A string, second fret, then open B, back to the A string, and then open G. So it's like... off the A string, play open A, and then hammer back on, and then play it again, so, like that, open, hammer, and then pluck again, so you got, then open G, followed by the A string again, open G, so, okay, and then you play the fourth fret on the low E string, and that takes you into your next chord. So just that bar again. And then once you get there, you're playing the fifth fret on the low E string. I'll put your second finger, third finger, sorry, underneath that and play the fifth fret on the A string. So you've got five on the E and five on the A. You've played the low E string fifth fret and then play the A string fifth fret, open D, back to the A string, then open G, back to the A string fifth, and then open D, so you've gone. And then bring in your first finger, keep the second finger held on, first finger on that A string, fourth fret, play that, hammer up to the five, and pluck it again, so you've gone. And then play the open D string, back to the A string fifth fret, open G, open A, and open D. So you've gone. And once more. Okay, let's just do the last two bars again. play once more through the whole of this riff for you, um, nice and slow. Now that riff is the majority of the song. It's the intro, it's the verse, and it's the chorus as well. Um, there's just one other bit that you want to watch out for, and that's every time it goes into the chorus, what you could do is at the end, you hang on to the to that hammer-on part uh, just a little bit longer. And what you have to do here is listen to the song. As soon as you listen to the song and start playing along with it, you'll hear this part, but just watch out for it because it probably will catch you out. So just before you go into the chorus, you'll get... Just stays on, stays on that hammer on for for a little bit longer, for an extra half bar or a bar of two four. Yeah, okay, it's the same thing, it's just repeated. Uh, well, it's just extended a little bit. So listen out for that. There's only one other bit to the song, and that's the bridge. What I've done is I've divided up the lesson, so it's a bit more manageable and easier for you to digest, and the rest of it is available on the website. So there's a link down to that in the description if you want to learn how to play the rest of the song. Okay, so that's it for this lesson. I really hope that you've enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and head over to sixstreamfingerpicking.com where you can get the remainder of this lesson and loads more fingerstyle guitar lessons.